guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching the Euphoria season one finale. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. If you are checking out my channel for the first time because you like Euphoria, then welcome. I really appreciate it. Today we are diving into more episodes of Euphoria season one, and it's going to be the finale in this video, so I'm pretty anxious to see how this goes, what happens in this season finale. This show has been a pretty big ball of anxiety and stress and sadness and tension uh, with moments of levity, but for the most part, just really intense and sad and crazy. I'm pretty grateful that I didn't have the same kinds of issues that a lot of these kids have when I went to high school. To be fair, some of the experiences parallel mine a little bit, but uh, maybe I was just a naive kid. Maybe times are different now. I think it's probably a little bit of both. I mean, Facebook was around when I was in high school, but iPhones were just kind of gaining popularity. The internet was definitely not as prevalent. And I do see some similarities between what I went through and what these kids went through. But honestly, my high school experience was pretty good. And uh, a lot of these kids seem to be having a time in high school. Quite honestly, I feel like their high school experience parallels my college experience a lot more, which is concerning watching these, you know, teens go through situations that they couldn't possibly be ready to handle or mature enough to handle. It's, it's pretty intense. I will say this show has been pretty heavy. In the last episode, we saw Nate bribe Jules as well as blackmail. Well, I guess not bl bribe Jules. He blackmailed Jules as well. He also blackmailed Tyler to get them to falsify police reports so that he could get off for strangling Maddie. What the f <laughs> it, it blows my mind that Jules would give in to what Nate is, 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 ha is forcing her to do. I feel like if I was in Jules' scenario, the first thing I'd be doing is going to my dad and being like, we need a lawyer like now. Not that everybody can afford a lawyer, but I'm just saying, I'd be going to my parents and being like, look, this is f embarrassing, but I got to tell you what happened. I mean, I feel like your your father would be understanding more so of you like sending nudes to a boy that you think is your age that you love rather than you falsifying a police report because you were blackmailed. Like, I think let's not let this get out of control, but obviously um, it leads to a better story to have her just do what Nate wants and leads to a more complex web being spun. It just broke my heart to see her give in to Nate. It broke my heart to see Tyler do that too. I mean, what the f is Tyler doing? He's like 21. I understand that he doesn't want to get in trouble for getting with Maddie because she's underage and there's a whole host of issues there. But personally, like, I just feel like you're a grown man and either way you did something wrong. So why not just tell the police you're being blackmailed and threatened and beaten up by this kid, Nate? Like, I just don't understand why Tyler would lie either because either way he's admitting to a crime. One of the crimes he committed, the other one he didn't. And they're both pretty bad. So why not just admit to the one you did commit and also like say what's going on with Nate? It just feels like we're letting Nate get away with everything and I don't really understand why. Like, I understand that he's very intimidating. I understand that he's terrifying and threatening. I understand that maybe Tyler's like scared for his life because he's broken into his apartment now twice and could kill him. I, I understand that fear. I guess that's the reasoning why he's just giving in to Nate, but I, I don't know. I just feel like we shouldn't be doing that. I don't know. It just really pisses me off to see that. That last episode really upset me because um, I just feel like people are not acting smart honestly. But that ties into what I said earlier about people just not being mature enough to handle these situations. Like these situations are way too crazy for 18 and 17 and 16 year olds to be going through. But that's why I'm disappointed in you, Tyler, because you're 21. Get your shit together, man. Anyway, that's pretty much where we're at in the series. We have two more episodes left until this season wraps. God only knows how it's going to end. I feel like it's going to be crazy. But so far, I am enjoying this show. It's made really well. The editing is spectacular. The cinematography is so fun and cool. The style, the art style, the costumes, the music is insane. The acting is top tier as well. Like I'm really enjoying a lot of what I'm seeing. Um, it's just tough. 
because they're kids. So my heart breaks for them, but also I kind of hate a lot of them. Like a lot of them are really bad. <laughs> Granted, we all did stupid stuff when we were kids. So I'm not saying like, oh, they're so bad and they're horrible or whatever. Like, and that's my final judgment. Obviously, people f up when you're young. That's how you learn to not be a f up later in life is by making mistakes. It's the only way you learn. So I get it. But I still want to shake like 80% of them. Um, the only person who <laughs> I like love right now is Ethan. <laughs> I just, my heart breaks for Ethan. He's just a cutie. Uh, he's, oh, poor Ethan. <laughs> Yeah, I like Ethan, and I like uh, Fez, too, even though he's a drug dealer. So he makes mistakes as well. Ethan's really the only one who I'm just like, you little baby. I just want to take you away from all this and just protect you. <laughs> I feel like he's just a normal high school kid who's like, I thought we're all having, living the same life, man. We're just going to parties sometimes in science class. That's it, right? You know? I feel like Ethan's wholesome. Anyway, I need more Ethans in this show. <laughs> if you guys uh, watch this show, who was your favorite character at this point in time. Maybe I'll try to remember to comment on that when I wrap the finale episode. No promises, but I will try. But so far, I think my favorite character is Ethan. My second favorite character is probably Fez. Um, just in terms of like wholesomeness, not in terms of like the most compelling to watch necessarily. I think the most compelling to watch is Zendaya's character, Rue, just because she's doing a fantastic job acting. It's really heartbreaking to watch her. So I think she's probably the most compelling person to watch for me, but in terms of like people I would be friends with, it's Ethan <laughs> or Fez. Yeah, you guys let me know in the comments down below who's your favorite character to watch or your favorite character that you would just wanna be friends with. I'd love to know in the comments down below. And with all that being said, I think we should hop on into this finale and see what it has in store. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Euphoria. Is she pregnant? Oh, right. That's what the tampon thing was signifying. She's, is she pregnant? This is Cassie's, wait, whose birthday is it? I'm confused. Cassie's dad. Oh, that's her dad. Her mom used to get really upset at him for flirting. Yeah, I would too. I'd be pissed. Which wasn't fair. It wasn't his fault. Oh, yes it is, Cassie. This little girl is so cute. Oh my God. This little girl is adorable. Woman to woman. Hmm? You're perfect. Yeah, but it's not because of your looks. It's just like you're always, you're perfect because you're her daughter, right? You're gonna be a real heartbreaker. Oh my God, the little retainer thing they put on her. I bet you got all the boys wrapped around your fingers. Ew, kind of creepy, Grandpa. Their family wasn't perfect. Yeah. Oh God, it's one of those family reunions. And her dad struggled to keep a steady income. Oh no. And they're gonna, they're gonna divorce because we haven't seen the dad until this episode. So they're gonna divorce. Did he just leave? Like they just don't see their dad anymore? I think he didn't want the responsibility of being a father. Don't tell your daughters that, mom. That's not, that's not something you tell your daughters. Ugh. My mom said your mom cheated on your dad. Oh, f God damn it. Cassie, don't believe the rumors. Oh, poor baby. Oh, poor baby. You have no idea if there was any infidelity. It could just be like they fought a lot and weren't compatible anymore. Oh my God, The Bachelor! I remember that guy. That was the Canadian model dude who was dumb as hell. <laughs> but he was really funny. We used to visit them on weekends. Oh, okay. They used to visit on weekends. Okay. Their outfits are so cute! Once every couple of weeks. Why? Why not every weekend? Dad, come on. That's so sad. Oh, they're both, they both have substance abuse problems. Is he gonna die? He was driving home from work. Oh no. One was in the ICU for 23 days. Oh my God, did he survive? He was prescribed fentanyl for pain. Oh no, he's an addict. That's gonna, I mean, obviously you need something for the pain, but di fentanyl, damn. What's gonna happen to him? Jesus Christ. But as more time went by, the less responsive he became. That's so sad. Is this why she seeks love from like so many boys? She's got daddy issues because she misses dad. It's always daddy issues, huh? Don't tell anyone I'm outside. Can you open the garage? Oh boy, what's happening? Oh, her face is, whoa. Did he come to rob them so he could get money for drugs? Is he desperate for money? I just miss you, dad. No. I miss you, okay? I love you. Oh, and he's just going, he's not even hugging her. He's just going right in. He's gonna steal some stuff for money. Oh my God, everything, huh? Poor baby. Cassie kept her promise and never told anyone about that night. Really? Really? How did her, what did her mom think happened? She also never saw her dad again. Oh. 
And then, at the beginning of the year, she met McKay and fell in love with him. And he fell in love with her. And even though she had made a couple of mistakes, I mean, mm -hmm. it weren't the kind of things you couldn't come back from. Uh, except for the pregnancy. <laughs> oh, what a what a timely episode with everything going on in the world. I asked you how I look, not about Daniel. Yeah, well, you look beautiful, Cassie. You look f***ing amazing. It's literally all anyone's ever told you your entire life. Like, listen to yourself. It's f***ing exhausting. Uh, uh, I don't blame Lexi for feeling that way. It's tough, because that's not really why she's asking how she looks, but like Lexi has no way of knowing that. So I don't really blame Lexi for being pissed like that. Like, I feel like Lexi just doesn't get the same kind of attention Cassie gets, so she must just, and she lost Rue for a while, she didn't have friends. I mean, I, I feel bad for Lexi. After Halloween, Jules didn't go to school for a full week. A full week. Her dad is too nice, man. My mom would be like, taking my temperature, like, you're not sick, go get your ass to school. There were times when I actually was sick and my mom sent me to school and then the nurse had to send me home because the nurse was like, she's sick. <laughs> Halloween morning. Yep. There you are getting booked, you dummy, you dumb f But this sh wasn't adding up. Rue, what are you doing there? Oh, is she dressed like a detective? Like hypothetically there? This is great. Power, let's roll. This is awesome. I love this outfit they put her in. Oh, damn it, they, make, they changed her. She's wearing a blazer now. Lexi! Keep looking, you mook. I'm Morgan Freeman, and this is the beginning of the third act. Woo! Honestly, Howard. Howard. This whole thing is beyond logic. I love that we're calling her Howard. This is great. This whole bit is awesome. Damn, also, Zendaya looks incredible in that little holster suspender outfit. Bennett, the cigarettes are coming Bennett, ah! Maddie is 17. Tyler's 22. Oh, he's 22. Get it together, Tyler! And what is a lighter offense than statutory? Assault. Assault is lighter? Okay. So that's why he admitted to it. Okay, fair enough. But I still think giving into blackmail like that is dumb. And he also falsified a police report. You shouldn't be drinking caffeine. Mom, please. I have homework. <laughs> Well, there's a sentence I never thought I'd hear. Oh, that made her happy. <laughs> She's like, okay, you can have coffee. She fell for him. That's why she f***ing testified. <laughs> I'm a genius. You did get it right, but you were not doing homework. It's crazy. I'm not even f***ing tired. I feel amazing. I'll be honest with you, Bennett. You're too close to this case. Oh, and she hung up. Wow. This is so fun. I love this whole bit. This is great. Yeah, this is spooky. Uh. -huh. It's not spooky, BB. Oh, she called her girls. What if they tell on you? What if they tell your secret? So, the night of Daniel's Halloween party, something happened. Oh, she's telling that secret? Well, she f***ed Daniel. Yeah, so is that what Kat feels bad about or something? Oh, we're cutting back to that. It's funny, I always thought I was gonna lose my f***ing to you. You're a f No, I mean, we were younger when we dated. Oh, they dated? Oh my God, that's that, Daniel? Holy he doesn't even remember. Oh my God, what a gut-wrenching, heartbreaking moment. I literally have no recollection of that. Wow. You wanna tell McKay that you made out with Daniel at the carnival and on Halloween? Oh, they're like lie, they're telling her to lie. Listen, I- I, I wanna be honest I, I think that's a good decision, Cassie. He might not like it, but- Why, because I won't sit and listen to you and moan about your psychotic, abusive boyfriend who you've literally broken up with a thousand times? Sorry, I'm no longer interested. I don't know about everyone else, but I miss the old cat. You know, the one who had a sense of humor and wasn't a f***ing Oh, damn. I mean, to be fair, Kat has been a lately. She has been a, like a total I, I don't really fault Maddie for being pissed at her. But also Maddie is very self-absorbed and should just like stop dating Nate. Like you guys all suck. I'm sorry. Kat, you deserve to be a to feel bad for being a You have been a You were so mean to Ethan for no reason. You've been like walking around like thinking you're hot Listen, I think it's good to have confidence in yourself and in your body and in the way you carry yourself, but you don't need to be mean to other people. <sighs> oh, hi, asshole. Look, Nate, we all make mistakes in life. It was so creepy that he was just sitting there watching him, waiting for him. I don't know how you got out of this situation. Mm hmm I know you didn't deserve to. Ooh, he knows his son lied about strangling Maddie, huh? And I admire whatever it took. You admire that he got out of it. It did teach him the wrong lesson. It taught him that he can abuse people and blackmail them and to get what he wants. <sighs> what? <laughs> my God, if I did that in my house, I'd be grounded for a day. Like slamming the door, hell no. And just brushing past my parent like that. 
he just tolerates it. These parents suck. They're pushovers. I'm actually in a lot of pain right now due to the sheer weight and strain on my bladder. <gasps> pee, Rue! She can't? Can she not pee? I'm so worried about her organs. Sleeping all day? Who the f is Rick? Meet Rick. Ew. My mom's new boyfriend. Oh no, really? A romantic at heart. I'm adventurous. I love to travel. Oh, his dating profile? Listen, mom's got a date. I don't blame her, but that dude? So, your mom tells me- Oh, he's got that look. That look that he's doing. Ugh. Oh, the quotes, the air quotes. Ah! He seems nice, but the faces he's making are so cringe-inducing. <laughs> so, I heard. You got a friend? Why don't you go f*** yourself? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that! That's too much! Rick does suck, and I was angry. Rick doesn't suck that much for you to call him that, or say that to him. I apologize for telling you to go f*** yourself. <laughs> she, she just apologized like that so she could say it again. <laughs> What I really meant to say is that my mom can do better and I hate seeing you sit in the chair my dad said. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Way to ruin the date for your mom. Wow. <laughs> she, she's not wrong, <laughs> but damn. So you know how in every 90s thriller, right? Morgan Freeman plays like the same semi-psychic black cop. Yeah. Who is this woman he's taking care of? Is it his mother? Is that why he's a drug dealer? To like make money? I want Fez's backstory. Do you still have that gun? Uh-oh, what Rue? I got a couple guns. Why do you have so many guns? <laughs> the tight zoom on her face. Oh, it's his grandma. To protect his grandma or they're her guns? Damn. Maybe you could use one to scare Nate Jacobs. That's not his style, Rue. That's also like illegal. Mouse is who? Oh God, damn it. I can't stand here. Like, I'm yes, really the you can't. Shh. Rue, shut the up. It's Mouse, you dumb And be quiet for five minutes, Rue. I'm not playing with you. Rue, shut the f up. I am on board with Fez here. Like, what the f do you mean? Sit your ass down. God damn. I'm sorry, Rue. Sometimes you, she frustrates me. God, get pissed. Uh-oh. Oh, Rue, oh, Rue. I'm so pissed at her. I'm so pissed at her. You think you're going to sneak out? What the f do you think is going to happen? They're in the living room where the front door is. Oh, she did sneak out. God damn it. I wonder if Jules is having fun. Probably not. Oh, she actually is going back to her hometown. Interesting. I'm not exactly like in the best place. Why, what's going on? Ah, just a little blackmail and addiction and depression and violence. Just a lot of things going on in her life right now. <laughs> Whoa, she was ready with a camera. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute, she got the moment of them entering together. She was just sitting there ready to take a Polaroid. I'm Jewel. Oh? I know. Oh, okay, oh God. Does her friend, is her friend in love with her too? Or does she just know because you guys are friends? Or maybe Anna's, maybe Anna's her girlfriend. I don't know, maybe I need to calm down. Has she tell him yet? I'm pregnant. Oh, You for real, like you're 100% pregnant? Yeah. Oh boy. You're not really thinking about having this kid, are you? I really love you, McKay. Oh, oh wow. What if this is what I'm supposed to do with my life? Oh, oh God. You want to talk about it? So here we are, we're talking about it, but I say we don't do it. I'm not saying I'm gonna have a baby. I just wanted to dream about it for a minute. <sighs> oh God, my heart is breaking for this little girl right now. Like, ah. Can you get me a mango lacroix? A mango lacroix? Oh, Fez. Is Fez gonna talk to Maddie or something? Or Nate? Oh no, Nate. Yo, man. I don't know what's been going on with you, Rue, and Jules and No, Fez, 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 Fez. Oh, Fez, he's so, he's too honest. He's a good man. Oh, Fez. All I'm saying is leave her and her friends alone. Oh, Fez. Oh, Fez. Are you like Tony Montana? What's the plan? Hmm? Gonna be living in a mansion? Pet tigers and Go f yourself. Ooh, I feel like that's the first time he smiled like that in a while. I want to punch him in the f teeth. You keep f***ing with ruining her friends. Now I'm gonna kill you. He is threatening him. Holy f Holy f It's gonna be 575, playboy. Honestly, Nate deserves a threat like that. I am concerned. Yeah. Oh. An adult bladder can hold two cups of beer. Yeah, Rue. Oh, no. Is she having a bladder infection? Damn. I know what you're thinking. 
Roof. This is insane. Don't get a kidney infection. Walk to the bathroom. Or just piss your pants. Something is better than this. Jules, you okay? Okay. Worried that she's gonna fall down. I'm just like concerned. Oh no. Is she gonna make out with this woman? Oh god. Oh, meanwhile, Rue's over here dying of a kidney problems. Oh, and it's crazy too, seeing her going through this like painful experience, collapsing on the floor while Jules is like kissed another woman. Is she seeing Nate? Is Nate here? Or is she just, he, there's no way he's here looking like that. Is she just seeing him in her mind? It must be, right? Yeah, he, yeah, that's not the real him. He's wearing makeup like Rue would wear. I'm sorry for hurting you. Is he actually here? I want to kill you. I'm yours. I'm all yours. What a great foundation for a relationship. Oh, it's her. Oh, she's imagining that that's Nate. I see. You know, this isn't going to happen. Oh. Oh God, I'm gonna cry. Oh, now we cut to him texting, damn, or calling somebody, great. Oh, is he reporting that Fez threatened him? Yeah, I'd like to report a crime. Yep, they're reporting Fez, huh? Honestly, Fez, you shouldn't have said anything. I understand he wants to stick up for Rue. He's an honest, good guy, but like, Nate doesn't play by the same rules as you. Nate plays f dirty. Oh, is she gonna tell her mom that she's pregnant? I think I need your help. Oh, <laughs> Poor Gazzy doesn't really like have a great support system, you know? I mean, not that her mom doesn't love her, just like having an alcoholic parent be your only like support system is tough, you know? Oh God, who's she texting now? Nate or Rue? Oh, it is Rue. <sighs> damn, man, damn. Ay, 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 <laughs> That's all I have to say. Your hospital bed can sort of feel like a poolside chair on a hot summer night in the Caribbean. Wow, I do not feel like this in a hospital, but I luckily have not had to go very often. Plus Jules came to visit. Oh. Did all this happen because I left? Uh, maybe, but that's really not your fault, babe. Rue, you look amazing. Uh, you do look great. And the fact that you usually dress like Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. It crushes my soul. Ah. I don't dress like ah. broken. <laughs> you kind of do. <laughs> so do I, though, sometimes. It's okay. It was like the most amazing weekend ever. Oh, she's doing the makeup the way the girl did her makeup in the last episode. You would die for Anna. Oh, God. And you guys, like, hook up or something? They did. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess this is just the way their like relationship is or they're broken up now or they're open. I don't know. This is not an issue. Oh my God, Zendaya is so beautiful, man. By the way, Nate Jacobs. Yeah, Nate Jacobs. If I ever had the chance, I would ah! Wow, that was amazing. The editing there was just fantastic. I love it when we when Rue randomly cuts to camera and narrates to the camera. It's so fun. Normally that stuff can feel kind of jarring in a series, but in this one it doesn't. <gasps> Lexi, you look so beautiful. Oh my God, you look gorgeous. Well, damn, Kat, all right. She looks a little bit less confident now after what Maddie said to her. You think this makes me look stupid? Oh yeah, she's starting to doubt herself now. No, not in the least. Oh, her mom is like really supportive of those outfits. To be honest, like my mom would have lost her <laughs> She would have been like, what the are you wearing? Fez. What's gonna happen to Fez? I feel really good about tonight. Really? I never feel good about any night in this show. Uh-oh, is this the scary guy, Mouse? Like you just keep pit bulls chained up in their backyard, huh? That's lovely. I'm sure that's really good for those dogs. Oh, Fez is here. What are you doing, Fez? Are you following him? Oh God, Fez! You literally had like 40 different guys in your phone. No, I told you not to tell anyone. Yeah, well, I told people before you told me not to tell anyone. It was true. But you told them out of context. Well, yeah, what is the context? I tell you, but I don't even fucking trust you anymore. Uh-huh, the context is that you're gay and you're homophobic. Keep talking, come on, keep talking. Keep talking, huh? I'm like not even surprised at this point. He's so violent. It's not like no. anyone's 100% straight or 100% gay. No, that is 100% bull. You're 100% bullshit, dude. Maddie speaking truth is over here. I think there are people out there that are 100% straight or gay, but like, I don't know. I'm definitely somewhere in the middle. Oh, oh no. 
Oh, no. Which one was that? Was that with Jules? Was that Jules and her dad? His dad? Was that Jules and Nate's dad? Oh, God. I'm surprised she's even allowed over here anymore. Hi! You might be a good girl. You might not. Well, your son's not a good boy. Sometimes the two people in the universe who aren't meant for each other find each other. I really... You're a beautiful girl and a smart one. It's time to let go. This man really be giving advice when nobody f***ing asked. Your whole family is so f***ing weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I stand by what I said at the carnival episode. He's always given unsolicited advice. I mean, he's not wrong. Like, they are so bad for each other. They really should break up. But, like, the more you tell them to break up, the more they'll stay together just out of pure spite. Oh, God. Fez! Oh, my God. I'm so scared for Fez. Is Fez gonna die? Like, I'm really scared. Because I remember at the start of this season, all I said was, like, the only way that could get harder and crazier. Oh no, Jules is drinking. Oh no. The way this could get crazier is if, is if somebody dies. So I'm worried Fez is gonna die or something. Oh, Ethan's here, yeah. What are you gonna do? Oh, poor Ethan. <laughs> Ethan! <laughs> the eye contact. Oh, don't be nice with him. Be nice to him. Um, can I talk to you for a second? She realizing that she needs to be nicer to him and like feels bad about the way she treated him. Maddie definitely took her down a peg. I don't really know what else to say other than I'm so, so sorry. It's oh, good. Carnival, when you were flirting with that girl, I just... She's opening up. Wow. Cat, this is way more than I expected. I guess I just wanted to hurt you as much as I imagined you'd hurt me. Yeah, crazy girl Cat, I liked you since I sat down next to you. Yeah. Oh, and I know that you think there's like zero chance that we're gonna be together forever and uh... Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm so gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. You know, I mean like is one of us gonna get hurt? <gasps> yeah. I have goosebumps! I have chills! But I'll do my best to make sure that it's me. Okay! <laughs> oh my god! I'm me too! Oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> I was not expecting this! Yay! Oh my god! I swear to god, if Ethan does anything to hurt her, I'm gonna be so d disappointed. Oh my god. Ethan, yes! What? Oh, Heather cheering for her. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy! Oh my god. Well, for once, I'm happy. <laughs> I love you, Lux. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, what a cut. Whoa, I don't know if this is a filter they had on the lens or what, but this is this is interesting. It's making like only certain areas are really in focus and the rest is like Cassie? really softly blurred. Is she gonna, what's gonna happen? Oh, Lexi does know, okay. So they, okay, they all know. How do you feel about being here today? Oof, choosing to look into the lens at that point. So striking, uh-oh. Oh God, Rue, Rue, why, why? Rue, Rue. Oh no. Rue, don't paint a target on your back. Why do I feel like you're the reason Fez's house got raided? Cause it's, cause he is. You look very pretty today. Uh oh. Are you sure that Jules told you everything? I'm waiting for the diss. He's gotta take her down a peg before he leaves the conversation. That's probably why you're spending all your time with someone who's gonna leave you and won't even remember who the you are in 10 years. There it is. There it is. I was waiting for him to throw in a, an emotional dig. I really remember what I said. You um, you look really beautiful. I mean, that's one true thing that he said. He doesn't have any blackmail on her at the moment, so that's all he can really do is just kind of emotionally tear her down. This is after the game. Are we at his house? You may have won the game, but you lost control of the team. Why are we putting so much pressure on a high schooler? father can we just like like maybe not you need to take a step back nate what the f i said take a step back really <laughs> yeah that we're just leaving him alone now Great parenting. This is great parenting. This house is so f***ed up. Oh yeah, the drawer. Oh my God. Oh yeah, and the CD Maddie stole. Damn, damn. That, what a performance from Jacob Alordi. My God. I hate this town. Uh-huh, me too, Rue. 
It sucks here. Jules, are you in love with Anna? Oh. Yeah. Damn, that was quick. I think you guys are throwing the word love around too quickly. Are you in love with me? Yeah. Do you wish I was different? Oh. This will help with the discomfort. Oh my god, the editing is top tier. The, or I guess it's the writing. Fez, what are you doing? Why, Fez? <sighs> Certificate of recognition. It's a doctor's house. Why are we here? Fez is about to be caught. Something is about to happen. I'm terrified. We just left this dance. We went home, grabbed a bunch of our just went to the city. What if we just left? <laughs> That's crazy. It is. Yeah, you're, and your parents would be devastated. Oh, she's kissing her like the way she asked to be kissed. She's, Nate definitely got in her head. She wants to keep Jules with her, you know? Who's this guy? I ain't gonna hurt you. But if you f around, I swear to God, I'll f kill you. Oh, he's robbing this guy. Is it to pay back Mouse? Because Mouse was just at this house. Wow. You a f doctor? More than that. Fez. Fez! There's a kid. Oh, good job, Fez. Good job you didn't shoot him. That's good, at least. You didn't shoot him, but now his son has to watch. Oh, Fez. I shouldn't say good job. I'm just glad he didn't shoot him in panic, you know? Like, those were the options there. Like, beat him and take the gun or, or leave. Another option is leave, but... Oh, my God, Fez. I'm worried for you, bro. Oh, my God. So much shit has gone down in this episode, y'all. And only one of those things was happy with Ethan and Kat getting together. The rest is just devastating and sad. Oh, they re she really is packing. Guys, guys. Is this a bad idea? Yeah, it is. It really is. It is a bad idea. It's a horrible idea. You're a kid. You should finish high school, even if it sucks. Uh-oh. What are you going to do? Uh-oh. I heard you got raided. Uh-huh. Ain't got s*** on me. I worry they're going to kill him. I'm so scared right now. Oh, there's blood on the money. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So we all good? No. Don't do it. Here you go. Deck seven. What a cut. What a cut. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. Got Rue, you shouldn't be doing this. Your mom is gonna be worried sick about you. I just realized that I didn't bring my medication. Yeah, her kidney stuff, yeah. She really just is doubt it doesn't want to go now. Cause this is a stupid idea. We're good. Come on. It's gonna be amazing. Oh Rue! <laughs> she can't do it. She can't do it. Oh no, is this gonna like a breakup? Fine. Oh my god, oh. God. Jules, just get off the train! You don't have to run away together! Oh my god. You guys are so melodramatic. Like, you're in high school! Just get off the train and go back to high school! <laughs> and there will be moments of relief. I mean, it was a beautifully executed scene. Oh, back to Leslie's speech. And you won't know if she'll live or die. I love that choice to hold on Gia's face for a long time. The decision will be all hers. And all you can do is hope. Ah! Oh no. Oh God. Is she gonna like go to Fez's and then Fez is gonna be dead? I'm so scared. Oh, Rue. I don't know why. I'm just so nervous for her right now. Oh, is that when her dad died? Oh! Is she gonna go look for... You're just looking at the room without him in it anymore. Oh! <laughs> ah! Oh, I can't. I'm not okay. I feel like I'm being so manipulated with the music right now. <laughs> I'm not okay. Oh, that was her dad's sweater. Oh, oh f man. The sweater that she always wears. Ah, oh, I can't. Go after you, sister. I don't want to be like her. Poor Gia. I don't want to be like you. Oh, poor Gia. Gia's just all alone. <laughs> oh, God. All these women just feel so alone in this household. They all just miss, oh, they just miss, you know, their husband or their father. Oh, God, it's so sad. Ah, damn, man. Where is she going? Oh, God, I'm so concerned, Rue. Where are you going? Are you going home? Okay. No, babe. Ugh, I knew she was going to use again in the last episode. I could feel it coming. Where'd you even get that from? Like, where did you even get it from? What the f***? Rue. Mama making ends meet. Oh, they can't see her. Oh. 
Oh, I've seen stills of this, but I like like with them all in these maroon suits and I never knew what it was. Wow, I didn't realize there was gonna be like a dance number. Oh my God, she's climbing a pile of bodies. Oh my God, this is so crazy. Till then. That's how it ends. What the f What the f Oh my God. What a roller coaster. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> I'm not okay. I know I frequently say that, but man, this episode, especially like the whole sequence of grief in the end, just hurt. And we still don't even know what happened to Fez. Like we have no idea what happened to him if he's like, okay. I'm so concerned about him. This show is really well made. Um, I think that's like obvious. I keep finding myself amazed at the editing, at the writing, at the lighting, the cinematography, the wardrobe, the acting, like every element is just so well done in this show. Um, it's so sensitive and beautiful. I will say, you know, a lot of these kids, I'm like, what the f Like, it makes me very concerned for a lot of their experiences in high school. Like, I feel like most of them are just making crazy choices and really just getting in their own way and it's um really frustrating and heartbreaking a lot of them are so tortured and tormented either by events that they've gone through or just by like their dynamics with their family it's very heavy but it's so well done that even though it's taking me a while to kind of get through this show because i'm only like watching one episode a week just because it's so intense uh, i definitely look forward to each episode because it's just so well made, so well crafted. I really wasn't expecting like a whole musical choreographed number in the end there. That really threw me for a loop. I was I was not expecting that. I thought it was cool though. I, you know, as somebody who went to school for musical theater and did a lot of group theatrical performance pieces like that, I, I appreciated that element being thrown in there. Because I think if there was a character you could do that for, it would be Rue. I was expecting her to kind of use again before the end of the season, especially in this episode, because it would be a good cliffhanger. It would leave you feeling invested in her and wanting to come back and see what happens to her in the next season. So I was kind of expecting that, especially when that theme came in, taking it all for love. Also, that moment with discovering where the red zip up hoodie came from, this hoodie that we've seen her in the entire season and that slow revelation of discovering that like it was her father's hoodie just oh my god I i'm gonna cry again if i talk any more about it but that was just such a beautiful moment and i really appreciated the way that it was done because it was definitely like a slow burn it was something that you didn't even really think about all that much but it was just a hoodie you see her in all the time and it was even so much more interesting and poetic in this episode because in this episode you know Jules is trying to get her to dress more feminine and more girly and making fun of her for wearing said hoodie and um looking like Seth Rogen you know Rue is having these feelings of doubt after what Nate said and after what Jules said about you know her wishing she would kiss her and feeling like Jules doesn't love her for who she is and maybe wants her to be different and that's raising some insecurities in Rue and it all makes even more sense when we see what emotional and sentimental significance that zip up hoodie has for her. You know, she doesn't just wear it because it's a reflection of her style. She probably mostly wears it because there's a lot of grief there, missing her father. And she hasn't moved on from that yet because I don't think you can, I don't think she's able to move on. She's spent so much time of her youth like using substances to mask certain things in her life and to push things away and keep walls up. Um, she's just used substances. I don't think she's really dealt with her grief yet at this point. So oh, that really made everything hit so much harder. I was already crying <laughs> before that moment, but that moment really wrecked me. And then to see, you know, this whole gospel choir and marching band and dancers in these red suits, these sweatsuits that look like her hoodie, uh, just was so intense and epic. I loved the way this last episode was written. I love the way this whole season was written, but especially this last episode, we got so many glimpses into all of the characters and it was the first episode where we didn't focus more on one character at the start. It was like, there was no narration from Rue, I don't think, at the start of this episode. I think it was just, if I remember correctly, like a cold open. It was just 
getting really deep glimpses into all of the characters. There was also just so much suspense going on with Fez and watching his character devolve into decline a little bit and doing something that is so out of character for him that he would never do if he wasn't completely desperate. And that was really sad. Seeing Maddie kind of admit for the first time ever that like Nate's dad might be right and they shouldn't be together. That was a real moment. And Everything going on with Nate was also crazy. I mean, that whole scene with his father when they're fighting and then he's beating himself up because he really just hates himself and he's letting all of his rage out on himself. I mean, that was just so intense. Jacob Elordi did a fantastic job in that scene. It was the first time that I've ever felt bad for Nate. You can just see how tormented he is and all of the, the issues that he really has. And his father is completely incapable of dealing with it. I mean, his father just walked away because he couldn't handle it. He just got scared and went and hid in his office. And his brother was nowhere to be found. His mother wasn't around. Like, this family is just so dysfunctional. And so in that moment, I did feel bad for Nate. I'm sure he'll do more horrible things, and I will not feel as bad for him later in the next season. But in that moment, I did. These kids are just going through such crazy it's just insane and it's stuff that I would not have been able to handle at their age like there were some things that maybe I could relate to and went through at their age but some of it <laughs> uh, is just a, is a bit much I think the only happy thing that I really remember happening in this episode was um, Kat finally being vulnerable with Ethan and admitting why she had been so mean to him and how she felt bad about being mean to him and really having some real emotional growth. Like, okay, damn, like that's good. We're having some healing, some emotional growth in this episode. That's great. And that made me really happy. So uh, yeah, it'll probably get f***ed up in the next season. They'll one of them will cheat on each other or hurt the other and they'll probably break up. But for now, I'm really happy that they're together and they got to have a cute moment. That made me so happy because Ethan is, he's, he's my boy. I like him. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel so sad for the rest of these characters right now. So the show's definitely left off in an interesting place. I'll be interested to see what happens. And I'm definitely curious to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below on this season. And if you're enjoying watching these episodes with me, I know um, these videos aren't my most popular here on my channel, but I've really been enjoying this show. It's been a nice change of pace, and I'm definitely appreciating your guys' comments uh, that are over here that are checking out these videos, so thank you so much if that's you. It is, I guess, if you're watching this outro and you made it to the end of this video, so thank you. And that's all I have for you guys in this video, so if you liked it, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know. And definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to know. Subscribe if you want to, and until the next one, stay golden. Bye.